The 10 Best Things to Do in San Francisco San Francisco is a city of many things, weird and wonderful people, beautiful views, and delicious food. But what's most important is that it's a city that constantly surprises you. So whether you're visiting the Bay Area for the first time or returning home after a long hiatus, here are 10 things to do in San Francisco that will leave you feeling like you've just had an adventure, and then some. So whether you're visiting San Francisco for the first time or you're already a local looking for new things to do, here are some of the best places to visit in the city. 1. Visit the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge that connects San Francisco to the North Bay. It's one of the most recognizable bridges in the world and serves as a symbol for both the city of San Francisco and California. The bridge was built in 1933, making it more than 1.7 miles long. It was designed by engineer Joseph Strauss and constructed with steel from Bethlehem Steel, who also provided their own workers for construction on this massive project, which took about four years to build. 2. Take a stroll down Chinatown. The Chinatown centered on Grant Avenue and Stockton Street in San Francisco, California, which is the oldest Chinatown in North America and one of the largest Chinese enclaves outside Asia. Three, see Alcatraz Island. Alcatraz Island has a long and fascinating history. It was originally used as a military fort, then turned into a prison, and now it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in San Francisco. You can visit Alcatraz Island by taking an official ferry from Pier 33, or sometimes from Fisherman's Wharf, which takes about 20 minutes to get there. Once you arrive on the island, you'll be able to take self-guided tours of some parts of the prison that are still intact including dining areas, cells, and more. 4. Take a walk down Fisherman's Wharf. Let's start with one of the most popular tourist destinations in San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf. Located in the southern part of the city near the Golden Gate Bridge, this area is home to some of the best seafood in California. If you want to try some delicious crab cakes or clam chowder, head on over here. 5. Take a cable car ride and see the city from above. The Cable Car Museum is a great place to begin your journey into San Francisco's unique cable car history. The museum is located in the Washington Mason Cable Car Barn, which was built in 1917 and houses several historic cable cars that have been restored by volunteers. The next stop on your trip will be at Lombard Street, the most crooked street in San Francisco, where you can ride on a cable car up one of the steepest hills in California, 22% grade. From there, you can enjoy views from Coit Tower before continuing your adventure through Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39. 6. Visit the Palace of Fine Arts Theatre. The Palace of Fine Arts is a monumental structure located in the Marina District of San Francisco. It is constructed for the 1915 Panama Pacific International Exposition to exhibit works of art. Completely rebuilt from 1964 to 1974. 7. Take a walk down Lombard Street, known as the most crooked street in the world. Lombard Street is an east-west street in San Francisco, California that is famous for a steep, one-block section with eight hairpin turns.
8. Right on a ferry to Sausalito and Tiburon. Marin County, just north of San Francisco, and had the sixth highest income per capita of all U.S. counties, at $141,735. As of the 2020 census, the population was 262,231. Nine, strolling through the Japantown. Spend an afternoon strolling through the Japantown neighborhood, where you can find tea houses and more than 100 stores and restaurants selling Japanese goods and food. 10. Take a day trip down to Silicon Valley, where you can visit Facebook headquarters or stop off at Googleplex, Google's headquarters, then explore the Stanford University campus or Palo Alto University campus for some cult.